Hey, how's it going out there? This is Dan. Hey, you know, today I was reading in the newspaper. Yes, I still read the newspaper. I like it because there's these in-between stories that you wouldn't normally get online. And the story that caught my eye today was that a city here in Southern California, which is very expensive to live here anyways, is going to start charging $11,000 more per building permit for a home and that $11,000 is supposed to go toward low-income housing. <laughs> well, it's done a number of things, but I don't think it really helps the low-income housing. One is the builders, it's going to really piss them off, but it's also going to charge them $11,000 more, more per home, which they're going to have to raise the cost at least $11,000, probably more. And then the people that were right on the edge to being able to afford a home aren't going to be able to afford it but yet they won't qualify for the low income housing. And so those people that can't qualify are gonna to have to become renters, or if they're not already renters, which because people can't afford the homes, they, they have to rent, which makes the vacancy rate go down, which makes the price of rents go way up. So they might have an alternative to become a van dweller RV dweller or something, something else like that. So my thought is, instead of that low income housing, why don't you put it towards, if they're going to do the 11,000, which they're going to because the city is going to make money off of it. It's not all going to go toward low income, probably only $1,000 of the 11,000 will go to the low income housing uh, because the infrastructure is so big in, this, in these municipalities that, well, just take that money and maybe put it toward a designated, I won't call it a, a camping area, but say a overnight parking area for van dwellers and stuff like that, where you have showers, you know, the water, the dump stations, and maybe you can park there for, you know, 48 hours, and then you have to leave for seven days or something. You know, I don't know really what the rules would be, but the fact of the matter is, is that you could have people, instead of having to park stealth on the street and you know, having neighbors get all upset, you could have a place there. And, and the reality is you kind of already do that anyways. Uh, at Mission Bay, you know, you've got the free showers, you've got the uh, free dump site, the free water, uh, the, you know, the showers, bathrooms, all that stuff is free. You just can't camp overnight. So you have all the expense of that, but now these guys got to go park on the streets, try to stealth camp, making all the neighbors upset and what have you. So if they had an area where you could park overnight, they would actually have, the fees would actually bring in enough so they could monitor it, so you could have somebody monitor it. You could have trash service on that. You know, no more than the costs are already. It's just that people would be able to stay overnight. And they wouldn't live there because, you know, you monitor it so they have to move. And I think that would be a better way to spend that money, especially nowadays here where even on low income housing, it's, it's so expensive and the rules to qualify are so, so crazy. Basically, you have to, you have to be where you, you can't afford any home and they'll kind of give it to you. So they, you know, they penalize those that, that are working hard and, and just almost making it to the people that, you know, that ordinarily, you know, they, they're not going to be able to afford a house anyways. And I'm not saying, you know, they still need to have that. Anyways, I think that that would be better spent for the money is having this, you know, overnight parking areas, designated parking areas throughout the city in certain areas. And, and it could be, you know, it wouldn't be any more than they're already doing. And it could be monitored and it would be actually probably less problems. I don't know. What do you think? Hey, thanks for watching. You know, if you guys have any questions or comments, just put them down below. Uh, please uh, like and share this video. And if you don't want to miss any videos, go ahead and uh, subscribe. We'll see you later. Thanks a lot.